Smile 2 should be called Smile Part 2 because it continues right after the last film. Six days after the ending of the last film, we follow Joel, which was our lead character's ex-boyfriend in the first film, as he's trying to get rid of the parasite or demon or whatever this thing is that attaches itself to people for and drives them crazy until they kill themselves and attaches themselves to somebody else after. So uh, we follow this, we, we follow Joel as he's trying to get rid of this this thing that he has attached to him onto these drug dealers, but unfortunately things go wrong and it gets passed to somebody else. And this person has a connection to a famous singer named Sky Riley. So Sky Riley is this mega pop star um, and she has a troubled past and she's recovering and she's on, embarking on making a world tour when she's having trouble doing uh, some of her dance moves or some of her choreography because uh, she was in a terrible accident um, a while ago, a few years or a year ago. And so she needs something, even though she's not supposed to take anything because she's also in recovery for drug addiction. So, she, but she, she needs something she doesn't want anybody to know. So she calls her old friend, who is the guy that Joel passed, accidentally passed the parasite onto. And when she sees him, that's the part in the trailer that everybody sees when he's smiling and going crazy and she's bugging out and it attaches itself to her. And then we follow her story, which is very good and very interesting. Now, I want to say about this film in general, I like this film a lot. I was surprised because during it, it felt too much like um, that other film I saw, Trap. In the sense that we're following a pop star, so we get to see the, music, the choreograph and things like that. And it wasn't until a certain point, and I can't exactly say what part it is. I believe once Naomi Scott goes into her dressing room after she freaks out on stage in rehearsal, uh, she uh, she goes to her dressing room and she, she thinks she broke her leg, but she didn't. Then she gets mad at her at her musicians, at her at her backup dancers, and then she goes into her dressing room and she passes like her help or whatever her assistant or her mother's assistant, and he's smiling at her. And then she looks at her thing. Once she gets once that scene happens, then I'm with her. I don't know. She's such a good actress. I haven't seen her in anything else. I think uh, there might be one thing I did see her in, but I didn't really even pay attention to her character in that. Um, let me see. What, what was the movie that... Because I remember... There, I did look at her IMDb. Oh, Power Rangers. I didn't really pay attention to her in that Power Rangers thing. So I didn't see Aladdin. I didn't see anything else that she's... I didn't see Charlie's Angels. So I didn't see anything else she was in. But this, she's... First off, she's beautiful. In this movie, I'm not a fan of... You know, I don't I don't think so in this movie. I think in general, she's beautiful. As a brunette, uh, they cut her hair short and made it blonde. For this, I didn't like it, but that, that's, that's irrelevant. She's so amazing. She's so amazingly talented. Uh, I just, I can't praise her enough in this movie. She's phenomenal. She really is. She, she's, The whole movie is her. And yes, there are jump scares. Yes, it's scary. And the jump scares actually work, surprisingly. I'm not a fan of jump scares, but they do work in this film. And it's more, it, I was trying to compare it to The Last Smile because when I saw Smile, it felt like it was years ago. It, looked like it came out two years ago, but it felt like forever ago. So I'm like, oh my God, I remember I liked Smile. I liked the ending of Smile and I liked the movie in general. So I was like, I gotta go rewatch it after I watch this. But as I'm watching this, I like it more and more. Although the end, I don't like too much about this film. That's the problem I have. Like the ending, I'm like, I don't know what's, I don't know what happened. I went to the bathroom and then one guy's gone and then this whole thing's happening. And then I'm, I'm confused as if, is she, what happened? I'm just confused. I'm confused about the ending. That would be the only criticism I have. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like, and Smile, that ending of Smile, I pretty much got what happened at the end of that movie. I know it was fucked. But this one, I'm like, what? So there's no, I don't get it. But I think, I don't know. We'll see if there's a third one. There probably will be, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't, I don't know. But I love, I like this movie. I almost love it. For her acting, she sells it. and. There's parts where there's a one creepy part. I think it's in the trailer, which sucks that they ruined it. But I think they 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 did a little bit better, because they take out and there's no noise, there's no sound, and it's eerie as fuck. That's one thing this movie has over the last one. It's it's more eerie, and and there's things that there are characters that you dislike, and at the same sense you're like, it, it plays games with you. This movie plays mind games with you because there was a character I disliked, and she something happens anyway and i'm like no how can you do that to this character i'm like it doesn't make sense because why would this one 
why would she continue on? And and and, uh, and then you find out what something else happens later on that you're like, what? So this movie plays mind games like crazy, right? Like really does. So um, I know this review is all over the place and weird. All I could say is the the only problem I have is that. I mean, the gore, the blood is not great because I've, oh my God, we got Terrifier 3, and I've seen so many horror films this year. This movie probably would have been higher up if I didn't see so many horror movies this year. Like, if I was to rank all, all of my horror movies this year, I don't, I think this would probably make my top 10, but it wouldn't be that high up on the list. And that's only because I've seen so many. And, uh, and the ending, because we saw the ending of Smile, the first one, so you're never gonna get that kind of like, what the fuck am I looking at moment in this one. But all in all, I really did like this film. And I'm trying hard not to not to spoil anything. All I wanna say is that uh, I think it's better than the, than the first one, surprisingly enough. I think the first one I was so distracted because I kept looking at the lead actress. And I'm like, why does she look so familiar? And so the end of the movie, I found out I was Kevin Bacon's daughter. I was like, oh, so, but in this one, she's such a talented actress. And I, I had to look at her IMDb and I see her pictures and I'm like, oh my God, she's gorgeous. Because in this film, I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to her looks because she just steals every scene. She's so good. She just... This is a great film. And this director, he directed the, he wrote and directed the first smile. Uh, he wrote this one. And, uh, you know, I'm going to rate this higher when I think about it more and more. But this director, uh, he cast very good people. I don't know who fits him or whatever. He cast good people because I actually decided to watch Smile One. I'm watching it right now in the process. And I remember the part with the cat. I was like, oh my God, I remember that. I loved that. I thought that was so fucking sick. And I, I love what he did with the first smile. Don't get me wrong. And I think the, the, um, Kevin Bacon's daughter, sorry, I don't know your name, but the, Rose, the character, I thought she did a good job in the first film. But there's a lot of talking, and it's like we're getting to. We're, we're, and I like the investigative part where she's trying to find out and listen to the audio and things like that in the first movie. This one's totally different. And there were parts that I disliked about this because of the movie Trap, where she's a musician, so we see the behind the scenes, we see the dancing, we see, the, but it gets good, and when it gets good, it gets great, and, actually, and honestly, Naomi Scott just takes it away. Oh yeah, the casting. He also cast, uh, so the, the, there's a psychologist that might be related to Rose, and I didn't, I'm not, I stopped watching, so I can make my review. Uh, I forgot who she is in the first film, and I was like, I know her, she's a really good actress. And in this movie, there was the, the woman that plays uh, Sky Riley's mother, I'm like, I know her. What do I know her from? So I am I just know her from a bunch of things because she's a, she's a great actress. She works on so many things. The m number one thing that comes to mind is Mad Men. She was in the first episode of the first season. And she was in a few of them. I think she was sleeping with John Hamm. Uh, she was his side piece. Uh, but she was, she's been in so many things. I'm like, wait, that can't be the only thing I know her from. And I'm like, I remember... I, she's in Law and Order, and I remember the episode she was in there. And I'm looking at, I'm like, oh, this the United States of Terra, which was a good show that got canceled too soon. I remember she was her friend there. I'm like, she's such a great actress, and just doing those little things, casting people that are like for minor roles, but very, really talented actors is very, I would tremendous. I would say yeah, I have to give him credit for that because it elevates the entire product. Even the guy he has here that's related to somebody that died. It, uh, that helps her is that he's an uh, ER nurse or uh, he is a talented actor too I've seen him in a bunch of things funny enough <laughs> I recently saw him on some uh, some Christmas movie on Hallmark Channel I, I don't know the guy's name but anyway I like Smile too I think it's a really good movie the more and more I thought about it when it's, once it got to like the third act even before the third act I really enjoyed it but the third act really it really fucked with my mind and then the ending is the only problem I have because I don't know what happened I'm confused but I like the movie in general. So, weirdly enough, I'm gonna give this four out of five stars. I think that's decent. Originally, I was gonna give it three, but the more and more I think about it, this always happens after I see a movie, I'm like, that was good, that was good. But then when I think about it more and more, I remember that I liked it a lot more and I think about it, I go, oh, I like this part, I like this part. There's a whole scene in her apartment that was sick where somebody's whole hand goes down her mouth. Spoiler alert, that was sick. And it was sick and scary. It was eerie, eerie. This is, this is, more than anything, Smile 2 is eerie. And I have to give it kudos for that. And the jump scares actually worked. I'm not a fan of jump scares, but they work in this film. Um, and even there are parts where 
there's something else happens to her foot at one point i'm like what the hell there's a scene with the car crash not the, in, uh, later on in the film was like a flashback to what happened to her that i was like Ugh. and there were there was a little brief moment where i was like this is kind of boring which is was that whole scene i thought that that was the only time where i thought the acting was bad and it wasn't really her it was the guy I don't know. but anyway it was the car crash scene that there was a flashback of what happened to her but she makes up for it in the, for the rest. Like, she's really talented and beautiful and amazing in this film. She carries the movie, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed this film. I'm going to give it four out of five stars. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about Smile 2. I'm very surprised that I, I, I give it four out of five stars, to be honest. But the more and more I think about it, the more and more I like it. And I'm confused about the ending. If you know what the hell that happened in the ending, <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to have to see this movie again. And I don't mind seeing it again. But so, but all in all, I highly enjoyed this film. Four out of five stars. I think I'm had to check my rating system. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new here and you did like this video. Uh, share it with somebody you know that uh, might enjoy it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.